hello guys welcome back to our channel so we have covered till devices and we have uploaded a uh, you know, demo for azure ad on devices and azure ad registered devices i have explained what is the difference between azure ad registered and azure ad domain joined and uh, hybrid joined devices in my previous video if you are not watching the videos please go ahead and watch so today's uh, you know uh, video we are going to see application proxy so i have already told you that uh, application proxy is something which we will be using uh, to access the internally developed application to access by using internet let's say if your organization has developed one uh, application whether that could be a you know a mobile application or a web based application so uh, if you wanted to access those application uh, outside of your corporate network so that time uh, you cannot directly access either you have to connect to the vpn and you can able to access by using the vpn but you can able to access through the internet as well so that functionality uh, will be provided through this application proxy via microsoft azure so application proxy is nothing but um, uh, it's basically you know uh, allow you to access the internally developed application through internet okay so even you can you, you can able to access from your uh, mobile devices also through intune okay so for that first what we have to do is uh, this application proxy is uh, option so here you can see that application is currently disabled for your internet first we have to enable this and then we have to download this connector service so basically this connector service is an agent it will uh, you know download one agent and this we need a server for this so the server in that particular server we have to install this agent the application proxy agent once we install the application proxy agent then the application proxy agent will you know uh, uh, work as a bridge between uh, your internet devices and your uh, on-premises application so that you see if you if i download this it will ask you know uh, it will be giving uh, some information about the application proxy connector so what are all the prerequisites we should be having so everything they have mentioned here so if i accept and download it will download the uh, application so once we download the application then the application has to be installed on the uh, mentioned prerequisites uh, mid server so once this is established then it will ask you to enter some credentials and all so you have to enter your uh, global credential to uh, initiate the communication between them so once that is done then uh, you can add the application here this first for, for that first you have to add a application in your uh, uh, azure ad okay so so if you go to this uh, this this can this application can be added by using the enterprise application option if you go to the enterprise application you can add your new application so here you will be finding create your own application then you have to provide the name and all the details whatever the details you wanted to give you just give it then you can create it so through this application registration and uh, connector uh, i mean uh, this particular connector application proxy connector which we installed on the server through the communication will happen so once you install the agent which we just downloaded okay so this this agent once you install those uh, connector will start at showing here okay you can see here connector establish a secure communication channel between your on-premises network and azure okay so this same once you uh, you know added uh, or uh, created a enterprise application for your on-premises application that can be published to your intune also so the end user can download that application in the you know, mobile devices like android or iphone so based on uh, the application uh, your uh, developer team created they can download that application and they can use it and they can able to access through the internet they no need to connect to the vpn they no need to be in the corporate network right so this is the functionality of the application proxy so since we don't have the server set up with us so I'm, I'm unable to show you how it works but the functionality is uh, the same so you can even configure sso also single sign on 
but for that again you have to go to this uh, uh, enterprise application once you uh, you know added your uh, on premises application then you have to uh, create this xml federated uh, metadata all these things you have to configure it okay so this is all about this application proxy so you can leverage this if you wanted to learn more about this then you, you will be finding this option learn more about application proxy this will give you the detailed information how you can configure application proxy in your environment okay you can you can configure multiple connectors for uh, high redundancy purposes as well it's based on your uh, number of application in your uh, organization so this is all about this application proxy feature provided by microsoft azure and the important thing to note here is the license requirement for this application proxy is azure premium p1 okay if you have the premium p1 license then you can able to use this feature right so this is all about this application proxy if you have any doubt please uh, feel free to put your comments in the comment section I'll, i will review and i will answer your queries thank you guys thanks for watching our videos